What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at an entire case of the brand new Kid Robot Futurama Universe X collectible art figures. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm gonna have a look at an entire case which consists of 12 on the top, 12 on the bottom. Yes, Jacob, that's simple math. That's 24, 24 boxes inside the Futurama Universe X. Here's all the figures on the back consisting of Fry. Fry from Universe B, Bender, a mystery bender, Super King Bender, Leela from Universe B, a regular Leela, Zoidberg from Universe B, a Hedonism Bot, Zap, Zap Brennigan, Kiff, uh, Morbo, Roberto, Robot Devil, Calculon, and Slurms. All 16 can be collected. If you look at the majority of them, there are some extremely rare ones like the Zoidberg from Universe B. I hope at least to walk away with a Zap Brannigan. He's one of my favorite characters from Futurama, and of course, Fry and Leela and stuff like that. But we're gonna have a look at an entire case. So sit down, relax, grab yourself a beverage, grab yourself a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh man, I could totally go with a grilled cheese sandwich right now. Grilled cheese sandwich is about the only times I would use processed cheese. I don't try to use processed cheese for many things. Actually, that's not true. Processed cheese on hamburgers, processed cheese and grilled cheese, it's probably the only time I would use processed cheese. Anybody that makes a grilled cheese sandwich, in my honest opinion at least, with real cheese, that stuff don't fly with me. I gotta use like the, the real bad for you. Sheet of plastic, melt that nice in between two slices of bread. Okay, can't, can't wander off too far away from where, we're wandering too far off from home, so we gotta stay closer to home. Here's once again all the characters. Uh, Zoidberg and Fry featured on the front and everything that we just already mentioned featured on the sides of the boxes These are now available by the way at comic book stores should you wish to pick these up for yourself I'm gonna grab old red which apparently she's not made many appearances in recent videos And we're gonna go ahead and open up box number one and keep going through the boxes until we've opened Yeah, that's right until we've opened all 24 I'm not going to do the feelsies test because that eats up a lot of time. You guys have places you need to be. So we're just going to open up the first one and we're going to go from there. Anything else in there? Hello? No? Okay. Uh, the first one, we, well, first one we got was Hedonism Bot. Hedonism Bot. Comes with a, uh, it looks like, what is that? Grapes? Looks like grapes. I'm going to assume it's grapes. The grapes are a very nice metallic purple in a very impressive looking gold dish. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if there's the means. Well, he does have arm articulation. Nothing in the head. I don't think there's really the proper means to have him holding the grapes. I guess you could really just plant it on his tummy like so and have him displayed like that. Underneath, you've got Matt Groening and Kid Robot rep represented on either foot. This one is a little bit limited in the way of what it can actually do. It has really no head articulation, but a very cool looking robot. Let's we'll go ahead and put the grapes right on, right on his tummy, tummy, tummy. Tummy, tummy, tummy. I don't think, oh, it's going to, it's just going to roll off. So much so, I dropped it on the floor. We're going to put that right there. Okay, we'll put it to the side of him. Opening up box number two. I have received comments, a few, where I've been asked, well, why don't you just simply cut, not literally cut, but video-wise cut, to each of the unboxings instead of, you know, all the stuff in the middle, which I guess is deemed filler. I happen to like the filler myself. I, don't, I can't speak for everybody. Do you. you like the filler? Let me know down below. Do you like filler? Uh, I feel as if there was an accessory somewhere in there. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going crazy. I've still got grilled cheese on the mind of... Uh, here we have Kiff, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I love Kiff. That's not really what he says. I, I guess I was confusing Kiff for Mr. Burns. Love Kiff. 
paint actually on him is pretty good. I don't really know what's happened on the side here. There's like a little imperfection on the side of his head. Looks like, I can't quite describe what that looks like actually. It looks like it's almost somebody took the eraser of a pencil and stuck it into the side of his head. At any rate, he does have head articulation, arm posability. There, Matt Greening under the underside there. We'll go ahead and put him next to the first one that we opened up, which was Hedonism Bot. We'll go ahead and open up the next box. Yeah, really a nice lineup for this go around. This may be the second Kid Robot set that Kid, uh, second Futurama set that Kid Robot has released. I think that be the case as we open up box number three. Futurama is a very strange show for me. Oh, we got another kiff. Uh, a very strange show for me because it's not something I would seek out. You ever have shows that you don't seek out? In other words, you don't go looking online for it. Like, I wouldn't say to myself, geez, I feel like watching an episode of Webster as I date myself considerably. However, if I did stumble onto it while flipping the channels, I would stay and watch it. That's kind of like... That was the way I was trying to describe Futurama. I can't say it's a show that I would go out of my way to watch, but if I happen to flip to it on TV, I usually stay and end up watching it. And then I think to myself, after it's ended, boy, I'm really glad I stayed and watched it. I always enjoy Futurama, but again, I don't seek it out. Never seek it out. Uh, we got ourselves a bender, but for starters, he comes with a stand. Little pharaoh stand. I'm just actually looking at the box here. That it's not Super King Bender because this one just has a cigarette. Maybe it is regular Bender. Hmm. Well, I get, there's only two. Well, that's actually not. That's not true. There's this one here. Uh, I don't know if this is specifically the more rare of the lot. I, oh, it does open. Nice. Opens up on the inside there. I'm going to guess that this is regular Bender. I'll have to then go online, I think, afterwards and just kind of figure out which one is the mystery Bender, what specifically he looks like. There's no section where he could put his cigar. They should have put like a little slot. I don't see a slot. Oh, maybe there is. No. Oh, I thought there was like a little groove right there. But you can put it in his hand. And then he comes with a little pharaoh head here. Which I guess... Oh, that's right. It goes on to his eyes. So maybe this is the mystery one. Because I'm certain if they if it was... There we go. I'm certain if it, if it was regular Bender, they probably would advertise it as having the pharaoh head. I guess the benefit of it really is... If you don't get a regular bender, you could just simply leave this off, and then you would just have a regular bender. Uh, does he have head articulation? Doesn't whoa! Doesn't seem to be until I pop the head off. Hold on one second. Let me just retrieve. Ooh, that startled me. Does have head articulation? It was just really stiff. Arm articulation, and one of the few instances in which something can actually open inside of the character here. So there's Bender. Possibly Mystery Bender. Possibly Mystery Bender. Let's go ahead and open up box number five. Is that right? Yeah, box number five. I'm losing my mind already. We're pretty early into this journey, and it's and it's pretty bad when the driver has already lost control. Needless to say, we push forward. I'm gonna open up the seal here. I really ripped I ripped this one badly. I was hoping nobody, nobody was going to notice. I, I so ripped that badly. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. And it looks like we got ourselves another hedonism bot. Uh, with the grapes, which I guess I really don't necessarily need to open up. So we'll just put him next to his, his clone. And we will push forward as we grab another one. I mentioned this at the beginning of this review. These are these are actually quite new. So if you are looking to pick these up for yourself, you can find them at your local comic book store. 
Or you can also go to, I don't know why I'm doing a flat hand and a pointer finger. You can also go to Kid Robot's website if you wanted to order this for yourself. Uh, they have like a store, really actually a, a substantial store. I know I just threw that on the a really rather substantial store where you can actually order these things for yourself. So if you can't find a comic book store in your area, check Kid Robot's website. Another Pharaoh helmet, or another Pharaoh mask, and then we got another cigar. I'm believing now, now that I'm looking at this, I, it can't be possible that we would get two mystery benders. So I'm thinking this is regular bender. Kind of just my dream that we got a mystery bender so quickly into this. But you have to accept it as it is and move on. Don't delve in the past, as they say. You live in the past. You're, I don't really know what, I don't know what the full phrase is, but you live in the past. You don't appreciate the future. That's pretty weak. We'll go with that. We'll go with that understanding that, that I may find something better to say later. Just kind of make a note of it. Uh, the next one we have is one I was looking forward to quite a bit. And it's Zap Brannigan, which comes with a bottle of wine. His hands are pretty molded shut, mind you. Oh, I can't get it into his hand. It looks like he's wearing a smoker's jacket. Let me just reference the box again. Oh, he was wearing, I guess it's a house coat or a smoker's jacket. That's a reference that probably many, not many would get, but back in the day, if you just walked around the house with like a fancy, it was essentially a fancy house coat. They would call it a cigar, um, a smoking jacket. That's what they would call it. Hugh Hefner frequently would walk around with a smoker's jacket on. Uh, by the way, this is flocked. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's flocked. It does have a, a textured feel to it. It feels like Moss Man from Masters of the Universe. Smoker's jacket. Uh, his head rotates. His arms rotate. And that's it. Wish I could actually get the bottle of... What is this again? Oh, it's... I can't read that. It's just scribble, but it's supposed to fit in his hand. It just doesn't seem to want to fit properly in his hand, unless I pried it open. Let's keep resuming. We've got roughly, well, not roughly, exactly five still to go on the top, and then another 12 down below, down in the basement. Sorry, what? Also, going back to what we were talking about, availability on these. If you find them at your local comic book store, generally Kid Robot stuff, case-wise, uh, will obviously cost you a lot more. But if you buy them by individual boxes, um, you usually, I think they're about 10 to $12. That will vary depending on where you pick it up. Some comic book stores, unfortunately, are a little bit more expensive than others. Uh, here we have Leela. Looks like her head's not quite on correctly. Old Leela comes with some glasses. Now, even if it's one lens, would you still call it glasses or would you call it glass? That's a question that I I wish to ask of you guys. Um, that glasses are very, very difficult to get onto her head. Part of it being that I feel as if I don't want to accidentally break them. Let's see if I can actually pry it across. See, let me just show you how far I have to pry these glasses to get them to fit over top of her ears. Ooh, that's that's awkward. And ultimately, doesn't quite fit because her hair is draping down over top of her eye, but I guess it gets somewhat the point across. Unless you could fit the glasses underneath her hair, but I don't think there's nearly enough clearance to do that. I would just ultimately display her without the glasses anyways. That's one thing I don't like is how you have to apply the glasses. The plastic, I feel like, is just not nearly strong enough to fit over top of her face, but I would likely just display her sans the glasses anyways. So I'll just put that right over there. Uh, opening up the next box, we still don't have a fry yet. 
And I'm trying to think of other not uh, notable ones I'd love to get. Like, Slurms is 2 of 24. So, I mean, that's a good bet. Morbo also is another one I wouldn't mind getting. That's 2 of 24. Zap was 2 of 24. Kiff of 2, 2 of 24. Yeah, I think all of them are feasibly capable of something you could find in the case. I don't think you would have to... Really, the only... The really big one... Oh, actually, Leela from Universe B, but I, I kind of like regular Leela. Zoidberg would be the hard one to get. So I would think the universe is smiling down. Just a beam of sunlight coming down on me if I was to actually get a Zoidberg. That would be pretty cool, but I'm not holding out hope. I don't want to be disappointed. The next one we have I think is Calculon. I do believe it is Calculon. Comes with his award. And we can just get that ripped open. Maybe I do need a knife. Nah, we'll just rip it. Ripping it just seems so much easier. Give him the award. Here we go. The award fits very nicely into his hand. There we go. Very nice gold. Very nice metallic. Almost kind of like a metallic caramel color and still has head articulation, arm articulation. Head seems like it wants to pop off, but that's okay. Head articulation. Calculon. I'm just uh, throwing this out right now that it may be one of my top three favorites so far from this set. Calculon, by the way, is what I'm talking about. A lot of good ones actually in this. The bender's nice. If is really fun, I like that one. This might be a really hard one to come up with a top three. I'll try my best. Not promising anything, though. Another Calculon, complete with a ward. I don't need to actually open that one up because we've already looked at this one. Uh, let's see here. I've received questions as I open up the next one. I've received questions. What do you usually do with the extras? There's no Obviously, if you're going to be doing a case... Um, you probably will finish a set, or maybe you'll be missing a few, but you always generally will have doubles, in some, in some cases triples. What do you normally do with those? Well, I have good friends, and my good friends have children, so I usually either offer them to my friends or I give them to their kids. I'm a very popular guy when it comes to coming to people's houses, because generally people feel like I'm going to be coming to their house with stuff. And then the kids kind of run, just kind of flock to me like a murder of crows. And best description, eh, for children, just a murder of crows. Just like a, just this giant wasp army flying towards me, all thinking that I've brought something for them. And nine times out of ten, I usually have. It begs the question, are they happy to see me or are they happy to see the stuff? <laughs> I'm only kidding. But that's usually what I do with the extras. I, uh, I give them to friends, and f by virtue of that, friends as kids. And just like that, we are almost finished. We are now finished. Let me correct myself by saying that. We are now finished, as we got ourselves another Zap Brannigan in his smoker's jacket, or house coat. Uh, as we partake now in Tier 2, the second go, so the sequel, will the sequel be as good as the first? It generally never is. There's few examples out there of a sequel being as good as the original. Evil Dead 2, I find, is much better than the first one. Well, not, not much better, but I do find it's, it's a better done movie. Oh, is there something in there? There is something in there. Then the first Evil Dead. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, another good exception, another good example of the sequel being as good as the first. I think of other Back to the Future 2. I, I like Back to the Future 2. Getting ahead of ourselves here, the next one we have is uh, one I was really looking forward to getting is Slurms. Now, let me just bring your attention to this. Slurms here almost comes across on the box as being a brown color, and yet in hand, 
he's actually closer to being a more lime green color. Also in addition to that, the, uh, the coloring on his head and his body are almost more of a frosted green and his arms are more of a see-through green. So it's different. I wasn't expecting that. Head posability, still arm posability. Comes with his shades. Let me put over the top of his eyes like so. Cover his eyeballs. There we go. And he also comes with a boombox. Just like John Cusack in, does it say anything? You can kind of hold it up above his head. He can't do that with this figure, but comes with a little boombox. It says Slurm at the top there. CD player also at the top there. Has a, a very small antenna, it's slightly on a softer plastic. There's Slurm. Let's go ahead and grab the next one here. I don't know why I'm working from the middle. Somebody probably was asking themselves the very same question. Why is this guy working in the middle? It's supposed to be working from the side. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you, you're ultimately going to get to the same end. You're going to get to the same ending no matter which way you go. That doesn't always apply though. If you're taking the wrong way on a road, you may just end up in a ditch or a very dark forest. So that might be a case where you kind of want to follow directions. Another slurms. Okay, and then we'll just kind of keep his glasses and his boombox in the bag. Let's do a quick tally. Look at all this extra glue. If you were thinking that that's hair, it's not. It's it's glue from the top lid there. Let's do a quick tally of ones we haven't gotten yet. Uh, we still don't get a. We still don't have a Roberto, a Super King Bender, a Robot Devil. We did get these two. We haven't gotten a Morbo, so that's one, two, three, and four. And then on the other side, still don't have either Fry, don't have Leela from Universe B, don't have the Mystery, and don't have Zoidberg. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's. Whew, now that I explain that to myself, let's resume where we left off. Open up the next box. As things change, some things remain the same. Look at all the debris that I've got on the one side of this backdrop. And we did not get ourselves a fry. However, we did get ourselves a fry from... Uh, get his... Oh, get his head on here. His head is a little on the loose side. Doesn't really want to stay in place as well. But we do have Universe B Fry. Looking forward to getting regular universe fry. Wish his head didn't fall off as much as it did. Still has arm articulation. Really, really on the stiff side, mind you. And you can move his head. We'll put him right there and try not to have his head roll off the table. Grab the next box. I'm doing a quick tally right now. I'm looking at the top corner of my uh, my recording area here. It says 23 minutes. We've been doing this for, for about 25 minutes. And by that, you guys have also been watching for that long. So thank you. Thank you for watching these very long unboxings. I do enjoy doing these oh so very much. Uh, the next one that we have here is Robot Devil, which is only one per 24. Of this entire case, this is the only one you're going to get. Kind of puts a lot of pressure really on him, doesn't it? Comes with his violin. Get this all out of its plastic. Try not to bend the handle in the process of it. There we go. All right. Comes with his violin. Which I guess I can put by the handle into his hand. Doesn't help that the violin's very soft plastic. And then it comes, I, I can't remember what this is called. It's the part that struns the, the violin. I know it's on the tip of my tongue right now. Somebody's going to tell me down below and then I'm going to say, Oh, should have had a V8. Robot Devil. Audience, Robot Devil. 
I've really got great coloring here between the golds and then what I can only describe as almost like a like a pinkish like a metallic pink glorious color glorious details robot devil audience robot devil um, he's a little on the top heavy side which I think culprit wise his it's his head arm articulation still is present he slightly wants to lean forward though all right all right all right all right so we got six three three and then two that gives us eight you're so good at math no not really Although I have to admit, when I did, did, did apply myself, you know, you know, when somebody says, like a parent says to you, you know, if you would only apply yourself, I, when I did apply myself, I actually did quite good in math, but generally it was just so hard. I, school was so difficult, at least from the standpoint of I didn't want to go to school, but now I'm glad that I did. Now I work for a living. I bring home the bacon, literally and figuratively. While I've been yammering away, by the way, I did open up the next one. I don't know if anybody was noticing that. They were too busy thinking about how bad math I was at, in school. But uh, in the process of doing so, uh, I did manage to open up Roberto. His head is a little on the different side because instead of it being something that turns up the top, it actually turns from the front. Also still has arm articulation. Nothing in the legs. And he comes with his little knife. I, I have to say, as I've blocked the camera with my four fingers, I have to say that I'm really liking this wave. It would be almost difficult to, to pinpoint a top three. It might even be easier to say what my least favorite figures are, and even then that would be difficult. We've got ourselves another Roberto with knife. I've just kept sealed. Put that right over there. We've got six left to go. And why don't we do another quick tally, quick check. Super King Bender, still don't have him. Morbo, don't have him. So that's two. Don't have Fry yet. Don't have Leela Universe B yet. And don't have Zoidberg. Oh, and also don't have Mystery Bender. All right, let's resume. Top flap here. I'm starting to very quickly run out of space here. The next one we have is regular fry. Regular. Oh no. Oh no. Regular fry. What happened? You got schmutz all over your face. That's not good. At least I can scrape it off. I don't know what it is though. It almost looks like he was trying to. Use, he was trying to put on a fake mustache. And then he took off the mustache, and then he had all the glue residual all over him. Comes with Panucci's uh, pizza. Do not tip delivery boy. I love that. Oh, and uh, oh, 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 by co comparison, try not to drop his head in the process. There is Universe B Fry on your left here. I guess you looking at it, your left on your right, regular Fry. It's just a shame that he's got that schmutz all over his face. Grab the next box. We now have five left to go through. By this point, I've just given up. Most of the garbage and debris is ending up on the floor. Oh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. Uh, we did manage to get ourselves more bow. Similar though, if I just show you the box, similar to Slurms, his coloring isn't quite the same. He's more of a kind of green color, whereas here he's almost like a dark green. You can see here. The veins also don't quite resonate as well, being that they're using the translucent green, but nonetheless. I'm guessing these probably also glow in the dark. Uh, it comes with a little tube of vein cream. To be exact, it's Dr. Flim Flam's vein cream. Put him right there. 
four boxes left to go. This one feels very heavy. I just felt the need to mention that. Just throwing it out there. This one was a little heavier than the other. And let's see which one this is. Oh, nice. This one's also packed full of accessories. This, not this particular figure, but the set as a whole. Next one we have is Super King Bender. Comes complete with crown. Comes complete with crown that doesn't quite sit very well. It kind of just sits over top of his head. Still has the little opening on his chest like the regular Bender had. I wish that the crown could have sat a little bit better. Like if it was just a little bit... I know it's supposed to just kind of sit to the side, but it, I wish it kind of sat a little bit better than it did. Um, comparing him to regular Bender, you can see the differences are the uh, the purple the purple mask as well as the cape. Whereas regular Bender just has the cigar and of course the Pharaoh's the Pharaoh's mask as well. So we'll put him right over there. Three boxes left to go, and let's see if we manage to get ourselves. Zoidberg, I'm telling you, would be would be awesome. I'm also a realist, so I'm going to think that as much as I would love a Zoidberg, the chances of me getting a Zoidberg when it's one of, what was it, one of 96. Yeah, one of 96. That's pretty, that's pretty bad odds. Good, good odds for the house. Bad odds for everybody else. Got ourselves another try, at least. At the very least, no schmutz. Yay, no schmutz. Nothing on his face. That's good. I'll, uh, I'll give this one away. Shh, don't tell anyone. Two boxes left to go, ladies and germs. Let's see what we got for the last two boxes of this. How would we just describe this? This fantastical journey? Is that a good way to describe it? Sorry, use real words? No, never use real words on this channel. Uh, we have sort of us, ourselves, <coughs> ourselves, another mor Morbo, complete with vein cream. And just before we open up the very last box, which also does feel heavy, um, let's just see. Leela Universe B, eh, I don't care whether we get that or not. Zoidberg would be cool, but I am really curious to know what that mystery bender is. Just looking on the other side. We've got all the other ones up here on this side. Hmm. What do you think the chances are, guys? What do you think the chances are? Zoidberg or question mark bender? Okay, let's open it up. Now, you wait, waiting patiently. I, I appreciate that. I mean, ultimately, you could just really fast forward to the very end of this video to know what this was. But thank you for those that are actually patiently waiting. And as quickly as I played that up to be this moment in which the universe shines down and says, that's for you, Zoidberg, ultimately, we've got ourselves another King Bender with his crown. Okay, so now comes the hard part. I was trying to figure out what my favorite ones from this entire set are. There's really a lot to choose from. I'm going to say my top three favorite. I'm going to go with Kith as number three. I would really ultimately like to have him a little higher up. I also didn't mention, too, that the, the paint is slightly different on him. It doesn't have as much... It's not like a shiny-feeling plastic. It feels a little coarser. Kif, I would say, is number three. Although, Kif, I would really love to have you higher up as well. Uh, number two. Hmm. Number two, I am going to go with Original Bender. I just love this guy. I love the fact also, too, that you can open up his little door. Little cupboard door. Old Mother Hubbard would be going to this cupboard to get her poor dog a bone and realized it was bare. The cupboard was bare. That's okay. Number two would be Bender, original flavored Bender, not King Bender. And my number one, I would have said Zap. I really wanted to say Zap. But I might say that my favorite from this wave is Slurms. Slurms. 
just really love the look of this guy. In fact, him and Bender could almost even share the same spot. But I think I would give it to Slurms. Although I really do like Calculon. I mean, all, uh, ideally, I really like all of these. But I think those would be my top three favorite. What are your top three favorite? As I wave my hand across collectibles, empty case, debris. Let me know your top three favorite figures from this wave down below in the comments section. In the meantime, what you've just indulged with in the last, oh, I don't know, 35 minutes or so. Today we were looking at the brand new, brand new kid robot Futurama, and this was Universe X collectible art figures. Want to check out some more Kid Robot stuff? Yeah! Okay, okay. You can go to my channel, right? Go to the playlist. Okay. Go to the playlist that says Kid Robot Unboxings or Uncasings. You'll be able to find everything that I have ever done for Kid Robot. I might even just say Kid Robot Reviews. Oh, great. Now somebody's going to just give up because they're like, ah, he doesn't even know. It's Kid Robot. It's something Kid Robot. I think it's Kid Robot Reviews because I've done figures as well. Uh, Kid Robot Reviews, check out the playlist. You'll probably see a whole bunch of uncasings that maybe you didn't even know about. And then you'll say, wow, I didn't even know this guy had as much content on his channel that he actually as he actually does. You'd be surprised the amount of stuff that I've reviewed on this channel. So much stuff. Just so many videos. Oh my God, so many videos. I think we're coming up to like, oh, 8,000 videos on this channel something along those lines but needless to say a lot of videos you guys can watch at your viewing pleasure if you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below that's the big thing make sure you hit that little subscribe button not only can you follow me on this channel but you can also be aware of every new video that's hitting this channel by the fact that it will pop up on your subscriber feed so subscribing is crucial Going back to old videos, that's also good too, because you can also check out some of the stuff that I've done before. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.